Well, here's the next uh, brushless build. This is a Sportsworks Turmoil Buggy. Um, I already got the motor mount made for the brushless and this one's a, gonna be a real simple straightforward uh, conversion. I mean it's I picked this up and it's it's a complete roller chassis. It's it's ready to go. All I gotta do is uh, slap a servo on it and uh, put the motor and and uh, battery tray and stuff in this. I I got a body ordered already for it, but uh, paint scheme I'm I'm planning I think will be pretty cool on this one. But. Uh, this one right out of the bat this this is uh this isn't getting a mom monster i'm gonna try uh probably a either a fiago or uh some other brand uh 36 millimeter uh 36 by 74 millimeter motor um not really sure uh red flag power out of uh canada is uh Probably the most likely uh, source for the motor, but uh, I might uh, might try uh, Mamba Max Pro uh, on 4S with a you know like a Fiago 8XL or a 9XL something like that uh, motor on this one. But uh, this this is a pretty decent chassis it's you know it, it it had been raced before so it's it was uh, you know set up and taken care of real well and everything so we'll have to see how this buggy handles but once I uh, once I get into the build on this I'll I'll do a video of the body and and then uh, Kind of show the the motor mount and the, the setup and stuff on it. But, uh, I'm, I'm thinking this one's going to actually be a fun one. I got my <clears throat> brushless motor mount made. Real basic, simple mount. Uh, same basic thing as what I did on my on my truggy. Mount it right to the the center diff bracket there. You can see the three countersunk the two upper screws and then the bottom one I put a nut on the back side but uh, once it's in there and get it set in there and I'll test fit the motor make sure the the gears all aligned and everything I'll punch a hole right here and uh, run countersink a screw from the bottom side up into it <clears throat> other than that this one this one has a lot of room this buggy has a lot of room for a battery tray. I'm waiting for the body. I need to see how how thick of uh, battery I could run on this. Uh, how I need to uh, set up my battery tray and stuff. Uh, I'm hoping a 4S will clear underneath the buggy body there on the side. But uh, it's, this one's going to be a real easy deal. Uh, um, all I got to do is mount up a servo and a, a chunk of linkage there and put my receiver in it and then uh, once I get my uh, motor and uh, speed control just mount it up and this one's pretty much ready to go. Well, I got through all the mock-up on Justin's brushless buggy conversion. Um, I'm just kind of figuring out the paint scheme and stuff on it. I'm waiting for uh, the electronics and stuff to show up. I uh, went with the Fiago uh, 7XL motor on this and uh, I'm going to try the Hobby Wing uh, 150 amp uh, speed control. But, uh, I went with the Turnigy uh, 4 cell 40C LiPo with it. Um, on the paint, I, went, I bought a, one of the Exo Carbon uh, Revo rear wings to use on this on the uh, body I don't know if you can see my lines here I'm gonna do uh, on the front I'm gonna do 
kind of a takeoff of my bug with the burning away effect but on the front of this body I'm gonna do uh, lines like like panels like an airplane with the rivets uh, the front nose is gonna be silver like the paints burned off of it but you'll uh, be able to see the lines in the shadows uh, where the body panels are riveted together and then uh, on this I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, the true flames on it and uh, where the carbon fiber wing is I'm gonna blend the carbon fiber back forward and uh, have it blend just into a straight black uh, with the true flames on it so it it should all come together pretty good but uh, every all the electronics are showing up this week so just to the birthday is not until uh, not for another uh, two weeks so uh, that'll give me time I'll I'll get the all the suspension and everything is all all uh, set on this you know this this was set up for racing so diffs are all all in good shape all set up everything you know the the whole chassis is in real good shape so there shouldn't be too uh, too awful much tuning or anything to do on the chassis on it it should be pretty ready to once I get the electronics and the motor mounted and everything in it it should be a real pretty much race ready vehicle here so but I'll, uh, I'll come back once I get uh, a little further on the body once I actually start doing the the painting on the body and stuff I actually might change up you know some of the body it just kind of depends on what I get into when I started I could come up with some other idea too before before I actually start painting so we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes but uh, I uh, was doing some mocking up on Justin's buggy today. I, uh, his Fiago motor showed up, so uh, I threw it all together with uh, my uh, old Valenian uh, speed control and a 3S LiPo. It, uh, The uh, hobby wing and the easy run speed controls both are uh, just enormous things here. And, uh, I didn't really want to put the speed control up high like that in the center, but uh, I mean it's just thing is completely huge. That's the only option I had is to I made a plate there to right on top of my center diff and. Uh, that's the only place I had that I could put it but uh, so I'll, I'm gonna have to paint the windows on the on the body so you can't can't see in I, I might uh, do them with the spastic mirror finish or I might just do them silver but uh, it's uh, it's all I got my about a uh, has a turnigy servo in this one also and it's, uh, I got to mount my my battery tray in and and uh, shorten up battery wires and just clean it up a little bit. And need to get that body done this weekend here. His birthday's uh, next weekend, so take it a, take it and scrub it down real good. And put the new wheels and everything on it, but it uh, it should run pretty good. I'll, uh, I need to get this done today and <clears throat> hopefully he'll be got he's gone this weekend so uh, hopefully I can get it out and take it for a test run I, uh, I got him one of the uh, Traxxas link uh, radios for this also so he could run this and his rustler both off the same radio so that'll work but uh, I'll get back and get this thing put together. <laughs> 